Please welcome to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Caton. Yo, what's going on, guys? You all right? Oh, cool, man. The new normal. Look at this shit. Oh. Random, innit? So random. My goodness. Uh, well, it is what it is. That's my theory for 2020. It is what it is. All right? Now, this, this year has been so fucked up, man. I was, I was thinking about this last week, and this is what I came up with, right? 2020 has been so fucked up, Tiger King now seems kind of normal. Yeah. Give me a chair if you've seen Tiger King. Yeah, some random shit, right? I remember when I first watched it, I was thinking, this is going to be the craziest thing I ever experienced this year. <laughs> I fucking stand corrected. Yeah. You know? After coronavirus, Black Lives Matter, Shamim and Begum back in the news, Manny McCann back in the news, you know, Kanye West running for US president, Tiger King, fucking pussy now, man. Oh. Yeah, this year's so random, and I, I still haven't got my head wrapped around certain aspects of this new normal, you know? Uh, like, for example, um, I still haven't got my head around queuing up outside Tesco's like it's a fucking nightclub, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, man, that shit throws me off, man. I get paranoid now. I get so paranoid every time I go to Tesco's, I wear shoes and trousers just so I know I get in. <laughs> haven't got my head wrapped around it. Uh, haven't got my head wrapped around the whole social distancing, you know? I, I understand why we're doing it, but it's still, you know, it's a bit of a mind fuck. You know, like, we can't be too close. You've got to be all spread out, you know? Or like, say that I'm walking down the street, and then like an, an old white guy or an old white lady, they're walking towards me. As soon as they see me, they stop in fair, quickly cross over the road. And that, that's surreal, because, you know, that never used to happen to me before. <laughs> no fucking difference, mate. You guys call that social distancing. I call that life. Uh, welcome to my world, dickheads. Oh, uh, man. But uh, I've done a lot of learning, though, in this, uh, this coronavirus pandemic we're living in. Learned a few things. One thing I've learned is um, just how many bellends we have living amongst us in society. Did not realize the ratio was so high. Turns out there's a lot of those guys. A lot of gold-plated bellends walking around doing dumb shit. For example, the start of lockdown, the bellends who were buying up all this shit in the shops, you know, panic buying, you know, toilet roll and pasta yeah, from Italy. Oh, right, you know, just like the one country that's more fucked than us. Think about it, guys. You know, buying 200 toilet rolls in one go. Like, why do you need so much toilet roll? Why? I mean, I can clearly see that you're full of shit, but how many physical assholes do you actually have that weren't that much toilet roll? You know what I would have loved to have done? Find one of these panic buyers, find out where they live, go to their house, and then take a massive shit on their front doorstep. And then when they go, what are you doing? I'll be like, well, you go to toilet roll, isn't it? You can handle it. Fuck you. Dickheads. Uh, other bellends, the people who didn't understand the simple phrase, stay home. It's not that hard to comprehend. Wherever you wake up, just stay the fuck there. Huh? <laughs> so many people weren't staying at home. I saw a video, you guys might have seen it, it was on social media. It was in the middle of lockdown. It was, the video was of a packed Westminster Bridge in central London, right? It was packed with people clapping for carers not realizing the irony in what they're fucking doing. You know, the, yeah, let's show our support for the carers by potentially giving them even more work. Get closer, right? It's idiots. And it's, the, the place, the, the bridge was absolutely rammed. And honestly, I saw that video, and all I could think was, where's a terrorist when you really need him? You know? <laughs> Cannot say that, actually. <laughs> no, I don't give a shit. It's what I felt. Stay at home, man, you know? I've got friends who are like that. I've got friends who are bellends. I didn't know my friends are bellends, but I found out during lockdown they weren't staying at home. I remember one weekend um, when the, the, the sun was out. You know, I know when, when the sun's out, you know, we go fucking crazy in this country, innit? Because we don't get sun a lot. So when we get it, we just go mental. Like last week, you know, that heat wave, do you guys enjoy that heat wave we had last week? Yeah, some people <laughs> said, no. Uh, <laughs> I want drizzle. That's all I want. Um, no, I agree with you, man. I, I don't like it when it's hot in this country. It's shit. Because British people, we, we, we react like dickheads. You know, you go crazy, go to the nearest beach, you know. Also, uh, whenever it's hot in this country, I hate watching the weather forecast. Because the forecasters are cocky as fuck. Right? 
What, next time it's hot, what's your weather forecast? They always do the same thing. They'll compare somewhere in the UK to somewhere else in the world, like it's, a, like it's a normal thing. Like, if you look, you'll see London is one degree hotter than the Caribbean. So, yeah, for 25 fucking minutes, mate, all right? It's nighttime back there, that's why. That's why. You know, just, just chill out, shall we? You know? None of my cousins in Antigua are gonna be calling me up going, near town, let's swap places. Right, no, just relax. Stay in your lane, man. Stay in your lane, right? But uh, I remember one it was one uh, one weekend during lockdown. It was really hot. One of my mates, yeah, he WhatsApp me. He's like, "Hey, mate, the sun's out. We're gonna go to the park, have a game of football. Are you coming to play?" I was like, "No, dude. It's a lockdown. We're meant to be staying at home. I'm listening to the government advice, right? And also, I suffer very badly from hay fever. You know, it's bad enough. I'm breaking government rules, and now a large black man sneezing in a public place, right?" <laughs> I'm going to jail for my fucking allergies. Are you shitting me? Like, like how dumb would I look sat in a jail cell? Like, hey, bruv, what are you in there for? GBH. How about you, blood? Well, that's a funny story. Uh, I forgot to take a purity before going to the park, right? <laughs> no, that's got jail bitch running all over it, mate. Stay at home. That's what I've been doing. I've been in lockdown, lockdown for five months with my girlfriend. Yay! <sighs> Fuck my life. Seriously, man. I'm, I'll, I mean, give me a chair if you've been in lockdown with your partner. Yeah. Oh, a few of you. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, you could probably relate to this. You've probably done this. I've done it. I'll admit it. All right? During lockdown, um, on more than one occasion, I've caught myself looking at my girlfriend thinking, I love you, but just fuck off. You <laughs> know what I mean? Not in a bad way, but it's like, just get the fuck out of my face, man. <laughs> Fucking... Oh, I didn't know it was possible to love someone and fucking despise them so much at the same time. Like, fucking bellend. Oh, God. Like, not, not in a bad way, but just, uh, okay. Okay, like, for example, in the mornings, right, um, I normally wake up before my girlfriend because um, she's, um, what do you call it, uh, lazy, right? <laughs> so I wake up, and I've got, like, an hour and a half to two hours to myself, right? In that time, I have Nathan time, you know? I'll do some weights or uh, play some FIFA, you know, listen to a podcast, do something for me. And then she'll walk into the room like, morning, babes. And I'm like, nah, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I want my girlfriend dead. I just don't want her to wake up, right? <laughs> I'm clapping at my dead girlfriend. Thank you. Yeah, I do, I do love her. Don't get me wrong, I do. Right? My girlfriend is the most caring, considerate person I've, I know. Right? And she's, my girlfriend is inspiring even. She's inspired me um, during lockdown. She inspired me to take up a new hobby. You know, during lockdown, people are not taking up certain hobbies like baking, you know, learning a new language. Um, I've, uh, I've taken up poetry. Right? Never thought I would, but I have. And you know, in fact, I'd like to share with you um, my first poem that I wrote. All right? It was uh, inspired by my girlfriend, and it's, it's dedicated to all the couples who've been in lockdown together. And this poem is called, uh, it's called I Love You, But Can You Just Fuck Off Now, Please? All right? This is my poem. All right? I Love You, But Can You Just Fuck Off Now, Please? By Nathan Caton. Here we go, first one. <clears throat> it's not that I don't love you. It's not that I don't care. It's just that everywhere I go and everywhere I turn, you're always fucking there. <laughs> when I go to get some food, when I choose to have a sit, there you are, right on top of me, like a fly on a piece of shit. <laughs> Look, you're amazing. You still make me weak at the knees. I love you, but can you just fuck off now, please? <laughs> right. It's not that I'm not there for you, Baby, now and forever, but I will stab you in the face with a fucking fork if we have to spend any more time together. <laughs> Morning, noon, and night, every hour that God has sent, yet you still ask me, how was your day, babes? <laughs> you know how the fuck it went. <laughs> Look, I'm crazy about you, more than you can believe. I love you, but can you just fuck off now, please? All right. Hold on. 
There's more. Mate, I've got a lot of shit to get off my chest. Yes, we get on. The sex is amazing and we have a laugh. But when I see you at home during the day, I think, why can't you be frontline staff? A doctor or a nurse or in a supermarket packing a shelf. Something that gets you the fuck out of the house so I can have it all to myself. Yes, we're in a relationship, but no, we're not fucking Siamese. I love you, but can you just fuck off now, please? Before the lockdown, I used to look at you and think, I'm so lucky, I don't deserve her. But now I look at you and I think, I'm going to do time for murder. <laughs> Go for a walk, get some exercise, take a stroll around the block. Take your time, though, don't rush back. Enough time for me to change the locks. <laughs> Since we've been at home together, it's like pissing me off has become your expertise. I love you. But can you just fuck off now, please? That's my poem, people. Um, yeah. Um, said, inspired by my girlfriend. Uh, that, that, that was my first poem. I'm working on a new one at the moment. Um, again, inspired by my girlfriend. It's not finished yet, but it's, uh, it's called uh, Why Are You Still Here? All right. Uh, that should be coming out pretty soon. Um, anyway, this has been nice, man, to come and do a gig indoors in front of people. This is, uh, thank you guys for coming out and you know, supporting live comedy. Save live comedy, man. Thank you very much. I've been Nathan Caton. Take care, guys. Thanks, Nathan. Everyone give it up for Nathan Caton. Nathan Caton, ladies and gentlemen.